Good morning students and welcome to today's class. So in the last class, we studied comparing of numbers and then we saw what is ascending and descending order. Correct? So uh, today's class, we will learn what are cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. So before studying that, we will learn again uh, see what are card, uh, comparing numbers and ascending and descending order first. Okay, we'll do a quick recap of that and then we'll move to the new topic. Alright, so comparing numbers. So first you compare two numbers. First is equal to. Okay, whenever you have a same number of things or object, it means they are equal. So here we have six balloons and here we have another six balloons. So six is equal to six. So this sign is used to show equal to sign then we have now this was another example there are 10 ships and 10 fishes so 10 is equal to 10 correct then we saw less than what is less than when number of things is less than another number for example uh, here number of bats are 5 and number of balls are 7 so 5 is less than 7 so this is the a sign or symbol used to show less than okay the point it or uh, the symbol always points to the smaller number okay so we saw an example here we have four trees and six snowmen so four is less than six correct then we saw greater than so in greater than we have for example we took six apples and four oranges so the number six is greater than the number four Correct. So, this is how you show greater than. Here, 7 is greater than 3. Correct. So, these are the symbols greater than and less than equal to. So, whenever you are putting the sign between two numbers, always remember the uh, arrow always points towards the smaller number. Either in greater or in lesser than, the arrow always points the smaller of the two numbers okay so this is greater than and less than so uh, let's see a few examples uh, for example i have two numbers 36 and 45 so 36 is less than 45 so we'll use the second symbol over here that is less than okay so 36 is less than 45 then I'll take another example 79 and 63. So 79 is greater than 63. Okay, 54 and 32. So 52 is again greater than 32. So if you see here, the arrow always points to the smaller numbers. Okay, so this is greater than and less than. Then we'll see, let's see what we studied in ascending and descending order. So, ascending and descending order. Ascending order is when you arrange numbers from the smallest number to the largest number. Okay, when we arrange numbers from the smallest number to the greatest, then it is called as ascending order. So, we have arranged the numbers from smallest here. Smallest is 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, here 9 is the greatest and 1 is the smallest now if you see this boy is climbing up the stairs that is is climbing from the smallest number to the largest number so this is ascending okay whenever you move from a smaller number to a larger number then it is called as ascending order then descending order descending order is when you move from a greater number to a smaller number that is when you arrange numbers from the greatest to the smallest then it is called as descending order so here we started from 9 so we have 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay so this is how you arrange numbers in descending order all right so this is ascending order and descending order descending order now if you see here this boy is moving from the largest number to the smallest number so he's climbing down so climbing down is called as descending okay now let's start with today's topic that is cardinal and ordinal numbers.
So the numbers that we use in counting, all the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they are called as cardinal numbers. So what are the cardinal gi numbers given here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, 12 so on. All these numbers are called as cardinal numbers. What are they called as? They are called as cardinal numbers. Also, okay. So sometimes uh, you don't use numbers only in counting but you use numbers also to show position or order. Okay. So you uh, so if you are in a running race okay sometimes whoever wins the race they come first correct so first here is a position okay first prize then second third so on so here first second third these are all called ordinal numbers okay they are representing some position or some order so now you are in grade 1 that is first standard then you will go to second standard then third then fourth standard fifth standard so on. So here first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth these are all called as ordinal numbers. So numbers which help you in showing the position or order of any object or something those are called as ordinal numbers. And cardinal numbers are nothing but your counting numbers. So how do you write first in words? So first is written as F-I-R-S-T. And you write 1 and S-T to show first. Okay, then for second you write S-E-C-O-N-D. Or you can write as a, it as 2-N-D. Okay, this is read as second. Then third is T-H-I-R-D. Or you can write T-R-D. Okay, then fourth, F-O-U-R-T-H or you can write four and then you can write T-H. Okay, then fifth, F-I-F-T-H or you can write the number F-5 and then write T-H. Then we have sixth, that is S-I-X-T-H or you can write here the number six and then you can follow it up with T-H. Okay, same with seventh, S-E-V-E-N-T-H, seventh and then here seven and th then eighth e i g h t h eighth and this will be eight t h then ninth n i n t h ninth and this will be ninth and t h okay then tenth will be t e n ten uh, sorry t e n t h tenth and you can write the number ten here and follow it up with t h so this is how you write the ordinal numbers Okay, so let's do some questions on cardinal and ordinal numbers. Now here they have told color the second apple red and the fifth apple green. Okay, so here second and fifth show the position of the apple. So which is the first apple here? This is the first apple. This will be the second apple. So you have to color the second apple in the color red. Okay, so this is red color. Then the fifth apple green. So which will be the fifth apple? This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So this is the fifth apple. So we color it in green. Okay, we'll color the fifth apple in green. So this is the second apple. This is the fifth apple. Next question. Color the first cup red. The third cup green and the fifth cup yellow. Okay. So first what we have to do? Color the first cup red. So we'll let's see which is the first cup. This is the first cup. Correct. So we'll color it red. So color the cup red. Okay. Then. So you color this red like this. Then you color the third cup green. So which is the third cup over here? This is the first, second and third. This is the third one. So this will be the third cup. So this is colored green. Okay. This is green. Then 
they have told color the fifth cup yellow so which is the fifth cup now so this was third so this is fourth and this is fifth so color this fifth cup yellow color so this is yellow color okay so this is the first cup third cup and this is the fifth one now next question color the fourth balloon yellow the seventh balloon red and the ninth balloon blue and then the tenth balloon green so first we'll color the fourth balloon yellow so which is the fourth balloon one first second third fourth so this is the fourth balloon so we'll color it yellow okay so this is the fourth balloon then the seventh balloon so this is fourth so this will be fifth sixth seventh so this is the seventh balloon which color is seventh balloon it is red so we'll color it red okay then the ninth balloon we have to color blue so this is a seventh balloon so this will be eight this will be nine so we color this blue okay this is the ninth balloon and then they have to color the tenth balloon green so which is the tenth balloon here this is the tenth balloon so after ninth we have tenth so this will be the tenth balloon which is green okay so you color like this now the next one you will try to do it for homework color the first ball blue the third ball green and the sixth ball yellow okay so here you have to color the first ball blue color the third ball green color and the sixth ball yellow color so you'll try to do this on your own for your homework then here they have told three wagons are marked on this train mark the other wagons okay so how do you have to mark them you have to write the ordinal numbers so now here let's complete this so this is first so what comes after first after first we have second so you write two nd like that okay so you have to write 2 nd second then 3 rd third so here you write 2 nd second this will be 3 rd third then we have after third what is we have which is the next ordinal number it is fourth so 4 th four. then we have fifth 5 th fifth which they have already written then after 5 th we have sixth so that is 6 th then we have 7th. How do you write 7th? We write 7th as 7th. Correct. Then we have 8th. 8th is 8th. And 9th is 9th. Correct. So this is 9th. So this is how you write the numbers. Okay. Okay. So these are cardinal and ordinal numbers. Alright. So now here uh, what you have to do is this part higher order thinking skills that is there pick out the largest number from these four groups arrange them in ascending order. So here they have given you four groups from each group you have to select the largest number and then those four largest numbers that you get you have to arrange them in ascending order. Okay so do this question that is the ball one. And this higher order thinking skill question for your homework. Alright, now let's do some revision questions. So now let's revise what all we have done in this class. Okay, so here fill in the boxes with the numbers that come before each of the given numbers. So what are the given numbers here? The first one is 10. So what number comes before 10? Before 10 we have 9. Correct? Then we have 27. So what number comes before 27? Before 27 the number is 26. Okay then we have 54. What is the number that comes uh, before 54? It is 53. Okay. Then we have the number 81. So which number comes before 81? It is 82. Alright so 9 comes before 10. 
26 comes before 27, 53 before 54 and 82, sorry, 80 before 81, okay. So, this is what comes before. Next, what comes after each of the given numbers? So, 64, after 64 comes 65. Then 15, what's the number that comes after 15? It is 16. Then 29, what number comes after 29? It is 30. And 58, what number comes after 58? 59 comes after 58. Okay. Next, so fill in the boxes with the missing number. So we have 59, we have 60. So what comes in between 59 and 61? We have the number 60. Correct? Then 23 and 25. So which number comes between 23 and 25? So what's the number after 23? After 23 we have 24. So this is 24. Then 65 and 67. The number which comes between 65 and 67. So just before 67 what is the number? It is 66. So we will write 66 here. Then 77 and 79. What number comes after 77? The number 78. Then number between 88 and 90. So what is the number between 88 and 90? It is 89. Correct? And last one, number between 19 and 21. So, what's that number? 19, 20, 21. So, the number between 19 and 21 is 20. Correct? So, see, all our answers are correct. So, now let's see what is next. So, here they have told, click on the bigger number in each pair. So, which is a bigger number here, 15 or 51? Now, if you check the tens, we have one ten here and we have five tens here. So, which is bigger, one or five? Five. So, 51 is bigger. Then we have 16 and 20. So, which is the bigger number between 16 and 20? It is 20. Then, 49 and 17. So, what is the bigger number here? 49 is bigger. Okay. Then, 63 and 36. Which is the number which is bigger between 63 and 36? It is 63. Okay. Next. So here they have told. Click on the smaller number in each pair. So 16 and 61. So which is the smaller number between 16 and 61? It is 16. Okay. 1, 6 is smaller than 6, 1. Then 33 and 39. So which is smaller here? 33 is smaller. Then 34 and 10, which is a smaller number between 34 and 10, 10 is smaller. Then 81 and 18, 18 is the smaller number. Okay, so this is bigger and smaller or how we do greater than and smaller than. Then ascending and descending order. So first arrange them in ascending order. So first number will put in the first box here. Or the smallest number will put in the smallest box. So which is the smallest number here? 15 is the smallest number. So we'll drag 15 like this and put it over here. That is in the first box. Then after 15 which is uh, the next 23. So we'll bring 23 here. Then 74. So 15, 23, 74 and 98 is the ascending order here. Then 99, 69 and 91 which is the smallest 9 is smallest. So, we will bring 9 here. Then 19, then 69, 91. So, this is arranged in ascending order. Okay, then last one. 46, 67, 49 and 64. 46 is the smallest. So, it is already there in the first place. Which is the next one? 49. So, we will bring 49 to the second place. Then after 49, 64. So, 64, 67. Okay, so this is how you arrange in ascending order. Then, Last one for today, arranging in descending orders. First, we will put the largest number. So, which is the largest number here among 51, 11, 48 and 34? It is 51. So, 51 is already here. After 51, 48. So, we will bring 48 over here. Okay. And after 48, we have 34. So, 51, 48, 34 and 11. Then 42, 19, 17 and 14. So now 42 
this is already arranged so 42 is the greatest then 19 then 17 then 14 so we don't have to do anything here next one 97 23 67 and 79 so 97 is the greatest so it comes first then uh, between 23 67 79 which is the greatest 79 is greatest so this will come here then 67 23 okay so this is how you arrange numbers in descending order all right so this was a quick revision on what we have learnt in this chapter so in the next class we will start with a new chapter all right so we'll continue in the next class thank you students